What is good? This is Crimson Rising back playing some Dragon Age 2. And last time, the video messed up a bit. So I had to edit it and it was just me dying to this ancient rock wraith. Now this is a pretty hard battle, but I have finally gotten it to a sliver of health. After many, many tries, many, many tries. So you see, I have no normal potions, no Livian potions, no stamina potions. I have to, I have to make sure Anders stays alive because he is only one I can revive. So now I will actually try and kill him this time. My tactic is just ah, oh, what are they doing? My tactic is controlling the three range and letting them kite. Yes! Here we go. Finally killed him. That's what I'm talking about. What's up, Varric? Eh, we killed it. Eh. That's their reaction. Eh. It look real to me. Oh my goodness, look at the treasure. I want the treasure. Stone cold, baby. That was a... That was one of the toughest battles. But I actually got through it. And I did stop. I did stop for a while. To... I just stopped like a day. Gravatic ring. Whatever. Dexterity. What does he need? Yeah, let's give him more damage. Bianca. Attack speed. Passive. Nice. Magic willpower. He needs the willpower. More than magic. Which one did I want? Cooldown. Health regeneration. Oh, I have to get that. Oh, Messi. Glad that's over because that was really, really tough. Really, really tough. Retaliation. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't. No, I don't care about that actually. Just upgrade these. So now that's over. We can finally loot. We got a crypt key. A key. Kind that opens doors, I hope. Oops. Look at this all the so stuff and I can't get. We can carry out of here and then go. No, I want all this gold. Come on, I want all of this gold. Move out of my way, guys. Oh, I'm saving it. I am saving this. Hmm. <sighs> And where's the audio? If we're unlucky, uh oh. Maybe uh oh. Way. And if we're lucky, we stumble over Bartrand's corpse on the way. <laughs> <laughs> audio died. That was weird. We are out. Home sweet home. Finally. Oh, I wonder if Bartrand came back to the city. You think I'd be that lucky? Oh, we're gonna kill him. Just make sure you let me know when you find him. Trust me, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> the treasure we found in that crypt far outstrips Bartrand's stupid idol. He'll be green with envy when he finds out. As soon as I get the chance, I'll look up my contacts to make sure we get the best price. I imagine you'll want to head home. Tell your family the good news. We're going to be rich. I didn't get much. Huh. Better get some money out of that. I need that money to not spend. So 
say you're back. No, thank the maker. Please talk some sense into him. Carver, what are you? Oh my goodness. I've joined the Templar Order. There's no point in trying to talk. I'm gonna kill him now. It's done. You realize that you're related to an apostate. See, mother? I told you he'd only think of himself. I want to be someone. Like father wanted. What's wrong with the audio? Is that happening to you or is it just me? Carver, please. The order is so dangerous. I'm actually thinking it's me now. Fine, mother. You don't need to worry about me. And you don't need to worry about me turning you in. I don't know. I know the value of family. My headset is a bit weird. Volume fluctuates for no reason. So the champion's brother was a Templar. Yes, but that's not the connection you're looking for. Isn't it? How else did an apostate remain invisible for so long without help from within the Templars? And the champion's companions, Meryl, Aveline, Isabella, that warden, Anders. Don't remind me. I introduced them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. Motive and opportunity. Mm -hmm. It's still not what you think. Then I need to hear more. Unless you've already decided. I can always go if you don't need me anymore. Tell me what came next. Tell the boy. Oh. Ooh. The treasure we found in the deep roads made us a fortune. The champion moved up in the world. Literally. Bought a mansion in Hightown. Yes. Finally. Everyone knew who he was now. Even the Viscount was taking notice. Carver joined the Templars. Just as he said he would. He didn't turn in the champion, at least. Three years later, the Quinari still hadn't learned. The Quinari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us knew better. Got some new loading screens. Hmm. I mean, they all look the same, but hmm. Hey, birdie. Bye, birdie. Oh yeah, check this place out. Oh yeah. The compound was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. What's up, bro? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage. But these Kunali, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what, and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Are we gonna kill some Kunari now? Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. Go on, redhead. Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance is held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. But now, the Arishok has requested you. By name. What did you do? I didn't do anything. My I didn't do anything. Nothing. I'm no fool. Nothing. I know the Kunari are waiting for <coughs> me and it isn't rescue. Nothing, they're not. I remember how nothing. you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak. 
speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirk Wall, Sarah Hawk? The name is Crimson Hawk, not Sarah Hawk. Man. I've seen hate for them, but I haven't heard anything major in years. Zealots are bravest where their lies can't be argued. Behind closed doors. Chantry leaders see Konari beliefs as a challenge, not an attack. But the message gets muddled among casual adherents. I'm certainly not equipped to argue the fine points of faith. Have the ears been kind to Seamus? He is his own man. But your actions tempered him somewhat. He's not so angry at the world. I thank him for that. I may not agree with him on many things, but uh, I am proud of what he is becoming. The Canari usually arrive as conquerors. Odd that this has gone on so long. Very, and I have no interest in antagonizing them. That is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. You scare. The treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although, uh, you have doubts. They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three years. They want something else. Sounds like you'd be better off without this headache. They will not leave, and we don't have the resources to force the issue. At least, not in a way that would leave the city intact. If they had come to conquer, I suspect they would have done so. Any idea what I can expect? None. Honestly, I don't think I've heard two direct words from the Arishok. Other than his rather deliberate phrasing of... Begone. If you think he's asking <laughs> me to notify you of this is strange... Well... You would be right. Oh, you gotta pay me. Is this a paid position? I'm somewhat in demand. You've served yourself. Built a fortune. I give you that. But if you, and only you, cannot calm this situation, I fear the only reliable investment will be in swords and armor. Serve your city, and then we will talk about what you are due. The Arishok is waiting. Alright. I'm cool with that. With my boy. This life is too short. Nah, you should stay like that. It's cool. Good day, Sarah. Oh, good day. Complex. I can't do that. Hello. Well, you have, sir. Blah blah blah. Speak to Fenrir. Fenris or Fenrir. Isabella's ongoing. Hey, Seamus. Seamus, wasn't it? The Viscount's boy. You're here rather often, Sir Arthur. A good influence, I think. Even by not taking sides, you helped start something. I still accept no blame for defending Kunari. And I don't miss the kinship of the people who oppose what I believe. Yeah, I don't like or hate them. I think they're a headache, but so are many people. Then you've already treated them with more grace than most. Mere existence should not be an offense, no matter how they challenge the Chantry. Not when some of their ideas are so compelling. Mm hmm. Weirdo. That corner looks dusty. What? Your face looks dusty. Alright. Thank you for watching this episode of me killing the giant golem thing that you did not see. But I tried a billion times. And I finally got him down to a little bit of health. Thank you for watching. This is Crimson Rising playing some Dragon Age 2. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.